a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. What's going on, Star Wars fam? I'm your bro host, Daniel Miller. Happy almost Halloween and go birds. Um, and welcome back to another episode of Shooting the Poodoo. I am your bro host, Daniel Miller. Oh, no. And everybody, Claire just left. Claire is about to come with another hat. Claire just left. She's going to wear what? two hats at once. How are all of my other <sighs> bro hosts? Oh, my nice. God. Claire. Awesome. I'll do both. I'll do both. I can't. Right. Do one or the other, but there you go. Very cool. I am I am me for Halloween. Um, I'm, I'm I don't good. even. I'm not going to acknowledge the hat that you're wearing. I don't even know what it is. It's nothing. I'll tell you what my costume is. Okay. The, my costume is a baseball player for a team that beat the Philadelphia Phillies in the playoffs this year. Very cool. It is cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Hey, Chris, how are you doing today? Um, oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no! Sorry, I'm sorry. After what I, I got last time, yeah, I had to give it right back. Well deserved. Well deserved. <laughs> I know. I know. I was. Uh, I was expecting it to happen. Um, I haven't ran into Nick yet. Thank God. Um, but uh, yeah, you know. You know, we, it's, 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 we're both losers at the end of the day. It's, it's, yeah, it's small really victories, you know. <laughs> Bryce Howard being one of the best hitters in playoff history, it's fine. You say Bryce Howard? I said Bryce Harper. Oh, sorry. Bryce Howard? <laughs> Combining two Philadelphia yeah, Philly two, greats. Yeah, two yeah, power we're hitters. Gonna, we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna, we're gonna let our powers combine. Fusion hard. <laughs> oh man! How's everybody's week been? Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask. Subject change. It's been uh, it's been crazy. It's been weird. Okay. I have. Uh, I'm all point the other way. Town. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm like, yeah. I'm just like right there. Right yeah. there. Yeah. It's been bummer town, but I want you to know that I have been looking forward to this all week. Aww. I love everybody's costumes and or shirts. And I'm Jones. I approve. Today. It's gonna be a spooky good time. Exactly. He's a vigilante. I put this together pretty quickly. Um, he did. He came right back with that on. He literally. And the theme song off started screen. right afterwards. He came yeah. back with the purple <laughs> hat. And he has the vest. It was fortunate. You we were talking about, I, okay, I have legit questions about, I, I've been, defi- okay, I have a stance on defending Ash. This is a real Pokemon statement. Right? Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. People were like, people were like why does he give away his Pokemon? Guys. Hey, if you're a Pokemon trainer who wants to be the very best as the theme song persists, right? Are you really going to carry 150 Pokeballs around with you and rummage? Like, no way. No, it's about the Pokedex. It's about logging it in your Pokedex, just like in the Game Boy games. When you traded with your friends, you still had that data. Right. Computer. That's catching them all. Yeah. It's getting the knowledge. Do you know right. what I thought about? You Pokeologist. Know what, you know what I thought about many, many times out. and like would lose sleep over if I had a couple too many cocktails and I was currently playing a Pokemon game, which I usually am because my nephews. Um, right. What happens to the Pokemon when they're in the box? Are they aware that they're in suspended animation? Are they just like in cryo well, sleep? Do they know that they are and like uploaded into a cloud essentially very good question claire i have question, thought claire. about this for very are they okay much of my life is it something like Cap- a movie Corp- happened it's a little fucked up a little <laughs> movie called wreck and ralph happened and when you turn the uh, arcade yeah. games off where did all the arcade people go mm. like this oh. intro huh? whoa 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 i Jesus hope they're God. frolicking in a little pokemon land i hope it's literally just like the wild that is like Pokemon Snap. That's yeah. inside the ball. Like, oh, you know I love the like, head cannon. Thank you. That's better thank than you. what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, it's I'm not like younger. hell, or like what if it's like cribs? It is like 
Squirtle's like, yo, welcome to my ball. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, get, well, I just I, glasses on, like Squirtle Squad. This is I where I, this is where I sit down. Um, <laughs> well, what if what if, so, what if what if what if what if like they're in like um like it's like a connected network. Like when they're in Pokeball, they're in just like another, it's like a virtual world, like their consciousness, all yeah, the balls are to like a central hive that they are just in, they roam around, but in the Pokeball. And like, but like, it's just like they're doing this in their sleep kind of, and they're connected to this hive mind like thing where it's just like a virtual world. So they still think that they're just like, you know, out screwing around. Hey Mark, you ever see Pootie Tang when Chris Rock I'm... says something? And <laughs> no, because like, I know I know of it, but and, I never and, saw and, it. And, and the dudes, and Chris Rock says something, the guy says the exact same thing. He goes, I, I just that. said that. I do well, it. Dan just said exactly what I just said, but with different words. Are you paying attention, Daniel? What? Are you not? I, I, that's the central hub I'm talking about. The Safari oh, okay, Pokemon sorry. Snap. You're wearing the costume. I never played Pokemon Snap. So I didn't know. You never played Pokemon you Snap. I didn't have the GameCube. It was on the. It was Again, on the 64. 64. Oh. So <laughs> Broke and I both that's like. It's on you. There was. A I Pokemon still never Snap played it. That's how you know I never played it. I don't even know what well, system it's on. It was so bus. good. It was so I, good. The only Pokemon I ever played was on um, Game Boy. You could hook a little camera up to it. And you can physically take photos because Nintendo are geniuses with when it comes to peripherals. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, right. I've only beaten Pokemon Red because I played it during summer school. Really? I had was it? red. I had blue with the matching Game Boy Pocket. And Hi, my Joey. cousin had red with the matching Game Boy Pocket. It's very cool. Yeah, that's exactly what I had. It was the yeah. red. Got Game it for Boy. Christmas. Thanks, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Let me just hair flip for a minute. Oh boy! Here we You'd go. be oh. hard pressed to find a Pokemon game I haven't beaten. Fair enough. Because wow, I, I would have get uh, to be honest. I would have given up a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But my nephews keep playing it, and they right. live in Philly, so yeah. we battle and shit. Is it? Is so it? Cool, I have a question. Yeah. Is it Zelda yeah. yet? Like, is, is it, it like? Is it like thing. Ocarina of Time yet? Are we there with Pokemon? No. Why are we not there? I don't know. I don't understand why they just we won't should do be. it. it should what do you be, mean? Like, it should be this open world where I am a Pokemon trainer that I created and named. And I should have a car, a house, a bike. There should yeah. be trails. I should have Pokemon follow me around. I, so I that's will not say, there, but you know. now I'm literally blanking on the game that i How could they, they the one that could. it's it's pretty wide open. It is the biggest map of any Pokemon game. It's the, uh, uh, yeah, the, the story and like. One. Yes, the <laughs> glitchy yeah, one. Yeah, it's a super glitchy one. Like, I haven't played it in a while. They don't easily do a Pokemon open world game. They, it's, it's they pretty, tried, sort of. It's, yeah. pretty, it's pretty open. I mean, it's not really... I don't... I think they've marketed it that way, but I don't feel mm -hmm. like they fully secured that. See, when I was a kid, you know, I thought what Pokemon game? Stadium was going to be that. And it, it's just a giant versus mode. And the Pokemon Coliseum is the exact same thing. No, oh, the thing is Pokemon look, either red or black so or X or W. It is supposed to them. be. But I it Pokemon has room for improvement. Yeah, it's a the one on the Switch. World. It is. I've never seen it. I never it's seen it. Like, like, it's it, fun, like, though, but also I'm not here to knock it. It's really yeah. fun. I I've enjoyed playing it, but also like step your shit up, Pokemon, you've been around for a while. Um what about Pokemon Go? I mean, I mean, I don't you have people buying several phones. Well, they know where the yeah. money is. The money's yeah. the cards. The money's yeah. the cards, then the games. So my uh and my, it's all Nintendo, so I have such I have not played Pokemon Go in years, but I have such a fondness for Pokemon Go because it came out while I was in college. Mm. And so what would happen, and it was so fun, like the week that Pokemon Go came out, what would happen is you'd be out at the bars. The mm -hmm. bars would close at 1 a.m. in Columbia, Missouri, because that's some bullshit. Yeah, that's bullshit. It closed at 1 a.m., way too early. We're all hammered. We step out of the bars, and everybody pulls out their phone. And we're all walking around in mm -hmm. groups of our friends. You got to find that slowpoke. You got to find him. You got to yeah. find him. So yeah, it was a good time. That's funny. We used to do the same thing, too, when we would leave yeah. the gay bars, except it was Grinder instead. 
it would just, <laughs> it was just nuts for that bit of time where like, I'd be driving somewhere and I'm like, why are all of these people standing in this one fucking spot it, on their It phone? was like they were looking for mm-hmm. a person. It was, like, like, it was always was, at churches. Yeah. Churches. There were little, uh, there were little poke. I don't know what they were called. I don't remember anywhere like poke stops. There was one right outside of my work. There was like a little statue in our town, this cute Mm -hmm. little statue right outside of my work. And there would just be like flocks of people there. Like, yeah. Statues, fountains, like those types Mm -hmm. of things would always be like the spots. Right. I I remember that when I was playing Pokemon go, but landmarks. Yeah. yeah. It was fun. It was was when I got into that, like for a hot minute, I was like, Oh, now I see, I get it. I was like, this is actually pretty cool. Well, I feel yeah. like those, like I okay, like those, man. like those spots were great for, um, like people to actually congregate and go like, oh hey, hey, how you doing? Yeah. I also feel like, what if yeah. there was a physical altercation? There were. Like you there were. Could, there were. There were. Someone what squirtle what beat their Snorlax, and then all of a sudden, like yeah. fisticuffs. In the greater Philadelphia area, it definitely happened. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, I gotta someone find some. Fucking got hit. With some we piece got, of we, furniture that was sitting on the side of the road. Maybe. So I know I, I don't mean to bring it back to the Phillies, but I'm going to. Oh, um, sure. There is a Twitter account, and it's it's just Arizona sports, and it's not it's nobody gives a shit about it for anything other than this quote: "The Phillies have the pedigree, the star power, and a lot of facial hair." They look like a beer league softball team that will beat you by mercy rule while rallying around the keg in their dugout before challenging you to a fist fight on your way to the parking lot. That captures the Phillies and the Dad, spirit of the birds. city of Philadelphia in general. So Dad, true. Go birds. <laughs> go birds. I love it. Go, yeah. Go. I soak it all in. Go birds and and the the bears that are currently on my television over here losing to the Chargers. So let's go. It's just no me one likes watching us. with binoculars crying. No one likes us. Yeah, nobody does. <laughs> Sorry. And we even have a song. We just <sighs> we sing a song about it. At least you know what you are. That's the worst thing could have ever said. That's it. It's... No one likes us, and we don't care. It's like we should care. Maybe you should care a little bit. We were the city that were like cursed for throwing batteries at Santa for 40 years. Mm-hmm. We're still a well, yeah, It literally still happened thing. in like the it 70s. It wasn't even yeah. a real Santa Claus. No, he it was, was somebody's some friend. Drunk asshole. No, he wasn't even drunk. His friends <laughs> were drunk. And his friends were like, hey, that's whatever. Our friend at Santa Claus. Let's ruin this because that's our friend. <laughs> and they decided to throw batteries at their friend. I mean, <laughs> I don't know how it's, long I would keep those friends. Philly. What do I know? <laughs> the greatest story ever. And this is like a parade during like slush. On Ooh. So it's like yeah. super slow. So you have plenty of time to put a battery in a snowball. <laughs> Wait, they put it, it in just, the snowball? Yeah. <gasps> That's yeah. evil. I, yeah. I knew about Classic. the battery whipping. I didn't realize it was. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh... <laughs> I don't love that. <laughs> yeah. Seven and one. Six and one. Anyway, um, pro wrestling's neat. Um, <laughs> that's all I have for you. <laughs> We're known for that in Philly, too. All right, goodbye. Anyway, seven to one. That's what I thought. How is everybody? Yeah, everybody's week was good. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Anybody I got my eyebrows hooky? tattooed. Oh, you t- what are you really? Doing? I'm not joking. Yeah. What? Why? Julie, look at him. <laughs> Julie, Julie. Are, are you? Are you? Are you I'm not her? fucking with you. I'm not fucking with you. Claire got her eyebrows tattooed. I told you you should do it. No, Ooh, tell her I like, highly recommend it. Hundred bucks. Fifty bucks, whatever. Still, that's like a hundred bucks a month. She gets it like every two weeks. Yeah, they're still healing. Thank I God mean. for the video quality. They look fantastic. Yeah, but look don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, I will. How much I, was it, Claire? Uh, I have a family friend, so my yeah. es- my I I did not pay anything for it, which is <gasps> the craziest part about Very it. Very nice. It comes about four hundred like bucks. A couple, like, about, like uh, it'll come about four hundred bucks to do though. <sighs> That's what do you think about it? The, 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 the money you the money you spend on like 
having them touched up and clean up every once in a while sure. piles up after a while. Sure. It does. And if you use what is and that brow wax as in. well too, then yes. you know. And so, and I yeah. have half an eyebrow. This eyebrow, literally, I have half of one because when Sold. I was a kid, I, it, it, it like stuck straight up and I was bullied and I tried to fix it myself in middle school and then it never grew back. So I literally War. had half an eyebrow. It ends right here is where my own hairs end. War. And War so War I pencil it in every day, every day. So that's it's you gotta priceless, like, baby. My brother was War's cutting changed. his, was doing his beard or something the other oh, day no. with a razor. And I, I don't know what he was doing, but he like did one of these and just mm. like, whap. Mm. Oh my god. Oh no. That's all it takes. Everybody was like, what happened, dude? And he, he was, was just like, like polar bear fight. Right. Just polar bear like, fight. There we go. Anyway, he had a stick. Cool. That happened to me like, this week. What? <laughs> oh man. Oh, look at everybody's here. We've got Laura. <laughs> Lauren has Lauren's a lot of follow-up questions. And Jace Ward. <laughs> I'll answer got them. Off Hangout, who was who's a new face. I see. I don't. I don't think I've ever seen them before. So it's Joey, welcome. who Go listen to Hoth Hangout. Hello, so welcome. Joey. And um, well, hello there. Thanks for being here. What was was uh, were they? Are they from trivia that was just happening? No. So Joey, Joey is a frequent flyer of the Imperial Senate podcast Twitch streams. Nice. So, so Joey, Joey and I go way back, That's and it was cool. nice. when hey. I was yelling into the void for hours on end. <laughs> Hi, Lauren. I'll answer them. <laughs> yeah, Benny. Throw them in the chat. Uh, uh, that might have to be a whole separate podcast altogether. Actually, <laughs> I, <laughs> I'll I'll just, cast. Like, <laughs> I will do the Broaxium special on microblading. Okay, <laughs> I will make sure that it it'll be Broaxium. Broaxium. <laughs> Get out of here, Mark. Broaxium. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> You didn't hear that, Mike, at first? You didn't hear that? I didn't hear the waxium part. Jesus <laughs> Brow waxium. That was like a tag team finisher for like Where's the world Chris titles at? or something. We're we good. just you literally died. opened up a whole Tuesday new device. market. <laughs> a whole new market. <laughs> Brow waxium. Game Spike oh. Pile Driver. Holy shit. Oh, that's Speaking incredible. Of, uh, Set it up and spike. That would be like Mark's finishing move in a Mortal Kombat game. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Lauren, Lauren is the greatest backup coach for me and Dan playing Last of Us right now. Oh, hmm. Lauren, you Dan see. had a fantastic run again. Last last game was good. Last game, was there any screaming? I don't no, no, no screaming. He wasn't scared. Well, mm -hmm. he was scared, but mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. But he was very good at his stealth, man. You're good at stuff, Dan. Great. You have to be, right? It's like you have to be. I you want live Dan longer. To in isolation so bad. Oh, oh it's that a game. Horror stealth game. Oh, oh, oh Kyle, it's just um, you leaving. It's just I, you yeah. getting out of dodge. Exactly. If anybody's I interested I in seeing that game, Kyle Katarn's going to be screaming that. Uh, yeah, um, on, on Tuesday. Uh, that's, that's so yeah. scary. Put it this way. That's a great game, game man. That's we such put it a early for DX Gaming, and I just like finished it. I was like, I'm doing this shit. I can't. Dude, I can't. They're not even the no, scary, scary part. The, the Xenomorphs aren't the scary part. It's the fucking robots. Nope. You're down a hallway. All you see is lights. See, You're just like. I love scary movies. I love spooky season. Spooky. I'm here for the horror movies. The second you turn it into a video game and mm -hmm. I am the protagonist. No, I will Speak. never sleep ever I again. Around. I can't I do just, it. Like, I don't want to go. Horror right? games, not for me. They said Alan Wake too is like super Mike, scary. Mike gets so mad because like I turn around and I go heading back towards, <laughs> and he's like, "You need to go forward." But I don't want to. I'm just like, I don't think we should do that. <laughs> but there's, but there's, there could be a secret way. Like, there's there's boomers the out there in no. front of you. He's like, "That's very nice." <laughs> you keep loading. I'm, it's just dead, infinite crouching. Like mm -mm. I'm always listening. Uh, yeah, they said Alan Wake's game over screen. It's game over screen. And you know what, Mike? Scariest things in gaming. Fuck Alan Wake. You want to <laughs> know what? I'm I already died. Fair. I already died. Don't <laughs> scare me then. Yeah. 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 The hearing thing in The Last of Us is some bullshit mm -hmm. because there's a scene where you're like. And you don't hear nothing in this room, so you're yeah. like, "Oh, I'm just gonna go into this room. There ain't right. shit in there." Right. There was shit in there. There was shit in there. There was I shit. Mean, in it there. could be. It could be Outlast, where you just you have. Oh nothing. no! 
and yeah, all no. you do is cry in a corner. It's like, oh, it's like you're just walking towards me. I have my legs to run. Well, I guess I'm running. What is it? Outlast? Outlast. Super sad. It's like a really hard survival horror game where you, no. you pretty much have nothing. No, Horrifying. No, it's, no, it's no. no, thank you. Yeah. You know but what? Anyway. I had an ex who had PT, the demo of PT. Oh. On, and let me tell you, uh, have played. Yes. I'm thankful <laughs> I'm not dating that person anymore. Wanna, and I have wanna, no reason I could ever play it again. You want to hear something Horrifying. even scary about PT? What's scary about She's it? always behind you. I really hate you right now. Right? <laughs> <laughs> He's literally, I, you're I, like, where is she? She's I felt right her the second you said that. I felt PT it. was this demo that came out for the PlayStation. Hideo Kojima, PlayStation Hideo Kojima 3. 3 mm. had this demo, and it led in. If you beat it, the you Japanese. know how to beat it. When you beat it, you found out that it was a prequel for Silent Hills. Yes, it was. With Norman Reedus oh. and Del Toro. <laughs> And all that stuff. However, and then Ko- the whole... Ko- Konami sucks. Yes, and they fired a Kojima. Okay, and halfway never through Metal Gear Solid Five, it never became a thing. Um, that's and strange. Here's the thing like a fucking PT. lighter. I'm just like, I'm sorry. So the whole, no. the way that it li- is laid out. <laughs> yeah, first of all, you mm. are in a house, and basically you're walking through the same cycle. And something changes. Yeah. Every time. And you're it's stuck in a loop. It's a loop. In this house. And as you go through, little things change. Mm-hmm. Yep. Little things. Yep. That and you keep going. And it gets creepier it's and like, creepier. Yeah. And then uh little it's things. It's a well-lit house, too, which is yeah. horrifying. It's yeah. Well lit. It is. It is like, yeah, lights don't matter. So, yeah. and I don't know how to describe the mm-hmm. absolute terror and dread that you feel as you go yeah. through this this loop, mm-hmm. and you realize that things might get you. you know? Especially when you open the bathroom and you see the nope. the four baby fetus nope. in the in the bath nope. in the in the, tub, in the uh, sink. No. You're like, no. you're like I can't even help you. No. <laughs> No. no. Oh man. It, no, big okay time scary. Me. And that's why I think horror is right. still making a horror game because Kojima has a it's, official it's, Xbox title coming. Yeah. And, but it also sounds yeah. like more gruesome than it really is. Yeah. Because it is definitely more suspenseful than gruesome. You mm. always feel like something literally is right behind yeah. you. You already you yeah. it's like it like the more that you go on the more that your stomach drops yeah. and not in like the, Oh, this is like disgusting and gory and whatever, but literally just in the, like, there's something that's going to get me. And yeah. you're just like, it's horrible. It's and we horrible. found, they found out that someone like cracked the game and went the third person. And all you see is like your hands and then her floating behind you every time. No! So she's always behind you. So just load in front of you to scare you. Stop. And go right like, behind no. you again. Nope. So you t- <laughs> That's cool. That ain't cool, man. I hate that you told me that because yeah. after this podcast, I it's have to go cool, to bed. Man. And then I got to sleep so I can work in the morning. Yeah. Well, look, let's, let's try so to distract. Let's move on. So up. So at Loki, guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Loki. Talk about other scary things that happen. Yeah, exactly. Like Miss grandpa. Minutes. Yeah, we, we oh had our uh, God, grandfather Mark. complex. You yeah. guys, so you guys were talking about that in the chat, and I was like, "Shit, I can't go in there because mm-hmm. I haven't really watched it, and I didn't want to like keep you guys from talking about it if you mm-hmm. want to talk about it." So, like, the loop. I had to day. watch both of them today, and they've been keeping the intensity up. Good, um, it's this, really this, good. This, yeah. this eighteen ninety three one I'm wasn't as like intense, but it was still really good. Where, I mean, Jonathan Majors, I'm loving him. Yeah. He's great. He's a great actor. Yeah. <sighs> And you got and I love it, uh, um, Victor Timely. That That's name, a bummer. that the great name is just, uh, and he's yeah. a swindler. <laughs> swindler, yeah, he he's a swindler. Yeah, I love that his entire Victor Timely persona is like, yeah, yeah. He stutters, <gasps> and yeah, but I feel like it's like a, it's Sorry. kind of an or like Frederick Douglass. Like, 
yeah. it's like ramped yeah. up when he's trying to like sell people stuff because he's trying to act like an idiot almost like a dumb mm -hmm. smart guy mm -hmm. like he knows he's smart with his science but when he's talking to the people it's like he's dumb with business yeah um and yeah. then it's like he gets ready to sell them this thing and he's like well it's a prototype yeah. Do you want to like, know why? I know because like, it's, it's a bunch of fucking white people that he's got to get them to pay, like, be somebody that will, I will be in control. Let them think they're in control. Let them think so. And he does a brilliant A plus job of it, mm -hmm. timely. A plus. All the Chicagoans. He's letting them guys, like, battle out the price <laughs> of, the, of, of his. Yeah, uh, World's Fair. Of his loom, and uh, he's just kind of like, yeah. <laughs> like, looking back and forth, really and he's just like, yeah, keep going. Yeah. X five was good. Dan, you're really showing range. That's really good. Yep. Yes. What? Very good. Uh, uh, X five, you're doing a great job, man. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you, thanks, guys. Yeah, you're doing good. You're doing good. <laughs> Mark's doing good. Everybody's doing good on the show. Mark's doing good. Everybody's doing fantastic. I think I got I, um, squished. No. <laughs> if anybody. The one brunette got squished. Way. But I don't think I, I don't want to be her. That was the most horrific scene. Oh, yeah. Probably in MCU history. And this yeah. was like. The cube <laughs> closing in on all the people yeah, that would not work with Friends yeah. player. Yeah. And the fact that there was something yeah. left for them to see. I thought they just like zapped out into existence. No, they no. get turned into they get grounded in the bone juice. Yeah, because it squished yeah. them. Yeah. Like a trash compactor. They, they literally mm -hmm. get cubed. Yeah. You know, like this sheet of like ground beef. It's a sheet of I, ground beef. you know what? And I, I love do that the so fact it falls that uh, quicker. I, I know that they did that because one, Disney Plus. Yeah. You know, Marvel, you know, but also it is the. You know, spooky season theme of sometimes it's scarier when you don't see it. Absolutely. Boom, boom, yep. boom, boom, and boom, that was agree. scary. Right. It was. It was. Expression. Horror yeah. on everyone's it's face, important. especially mine. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to deliver it. Expression. You couldn't even look. He was My brain. Like, I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> My brain was making shit up that probably <laughs> yeah. wasn't even physically yeah. possible. And it was scary. But so. Miss Minute's face, when she's like, scary face. I still God. think she's the real, real, real villain behind all this shit. So, well, well she's, she's taking real. over, dude. Well, yeah. She doesn't have a body. See how she's like hey. super, super resentful for the fact that she doesn't have a body. And now but you know who the real, uh, the real villain of Loki and the real villain of the writers and actors strike? Artificial <laughs> intelligence. Art AI people. <laughs> there it is. Message. Oh, good point, Clara. Message. I think. I wonder if they're writing that into this uh, season. I think this shit was done before that. Oh, that yeah. would be very prescient. That before that. They called <laughs> it. Because, I mean, ending. she's evil AI. And, I mean, like, when has AI ever been, besides um, in that one movie with the little kid, ever been anything but, like, just thing that's ready to fuck Oh, Terminator, uh, you know, just Skynet. Skynet, I mean, Cyberdyne. We've been... We've been They've been warning us for years now, decades. Oh, yeah, it's coming. <clears throat> Artificial coming. intelligence. Even Sonny was like chill, but he uh, until like he didn't want to be a robot slave anymore. In the words yeah. of Chad Colchin, uh, bachelor coach and co-host of Doozy, uh, AI just invented the wheel, and in, and in within ten years it'll be a Ferrari. Yep. So just think of it that way. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I'm ten years. Well, he's being. I was being nice. He said actually. He actually said three years. Ten he years said, is going to be. He a said by the time there's another the universe. That's he what said, that's going to be. He also meant like by the time there's another contract negotiation, it'll be too late. That's why they gave them three years. Yep. So like, oh, we'll have plenty of time by then. We won't need you to pro proofread anything. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> Um, mm, mm, spooky, but can someone answer me a question? Uh, maybe I wasn't paying attention, or uh, and it was like someone disguised as him. But when Loki excommunicated himself right in front of Sophie, like what what happened right there? It's called a bootstrap paradox. Okay, it, elaborate. It, it's a loop. 
So let's say you go to a bookstore and you buy Hamlet and you go on your time machine and you give Shakespeare Hamlet. Like here's 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 all of it. Mm. It's like it's a loop. Because remember, he Loki gets zapped into the first season. We don't really know who it was. It was him. He's doing it to himself. That's right. Yeah. That's interesting. That's a call. Because he's wearing the outfit from last season. He has yeah. his short yeah. sleeves and all that. You know, he's crying because he's looking at Sylvie. Like, yeah. Huh. Yeah. Holy shit. Grandfather paradox. If you go back and kill your grandfather, like, what happened? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that whole... Huh. Man, I love time oh. travel. Yeah! The show is so it's it's just so good, like the way they're keeping up with all of this. Like I was like, yeah. what the fuck just happened right there? And I'm like, like I, and I thought that for a second, Mike. I was like, was that from what we saw at the beginning? And I, I just was like, all right, whatever. I'll ask the crew when we talk about it tonight. And I feel that way too. I feel like it moves really quick and it's all very it's all very big brain, but at the same time, it all makes sense once we watch it all. Once we get yeah. through it, we're like, wow. That's why time, really looking hard on that one. time travel is like a convolutedness that we welcome because it's outside yeah. of our thought process. Right. <laughs> it's it's He's, too many molecules in there. Yeah. I understand He's, what's going on. Star Wars could take a few notes of uh, from this one. So sure. What do I know? I'm not saying that time travel. I'm not saying that worlds between right. worlds. That's not how that thing works anyway. <laughs> but I'm, but I'm just saying that be from neat? the very first episode of fucking Loki season two, can we it's, it's run? Just, can we just like hit the gas and keep going? No. Uh, okay. No. All right. Well, I'll be in the car. All right. Yeah. Yep. Um, seriously, it, it, it has right. been uh, my favorite Disney Plus show. It's refreshing um, at, at this time because it's yeah, like, it absolutely is. We needed it. We needed it. We needed it bad. <clears throat> it was fatigue on all sides. People were on a strike. It's complicated. People can't support stuff. You know, I would love to see the press junket for this. Yeah, and having to be like, I don't know what's going on either. Too bad. <laughs> yeah. Right. You Too know. bad. We're in a strike. Bad. Ain't gonna happen. <laughs> no. No. So, has anybody? All we um, have are late night shows. They're back because writers. Oh. Quick, quick side um, question: Has anybody seen the Gen V? Yes, heard it's not, yet. not yet. Heard it, uh, heard it heard I've seen the boys. it. We finished it. Okay. You, we, I don't we, know if I'd say it's better for the better than the boys, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna be honest with you, it's up there. So recommend. Nice. Recommend I one thousand percent recommend. I was too. Okay. I saw that it was advertised. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, I hope this is good. We're going to try it. And yeah, it's really good. The um, It runs parallel with the boys. Nice. Um, they oh, cool. reference events that happened in the boys. Okay. okay. Um, and things are going parallel that are relevant to what's also going on in the boys. But it's a completely different story. Completely different cast of, well, almost completely different cast of characters. There might be a couple cameos. Um, it's a great yeah. time. It's well, I mean, it's not a great time. It's kind of a scary time in in the, I mean, the same vibe as the boys. Yeah, because um, all that stuff's being exposed. It's a bit of, yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's a bunch of of 18, 19 year old, roughly age college students at a mm -hmm. university. I'll play by thirty year old superheroes. You know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. right. But, um, I just watched a scary uh, movie last night. I was dying at that so one good. part of it. Making yeah. fun of like, you. So anyway, superhero college. Uh, we now know about Compound V, mm -hmm. and it's basically in that realm of okay. what is Vought doing? Yeah. Something's happening, and a couple kids who are at the top of their class start discovering things are not quite what they seem. I'm it's great. For it. Okay, All cool. Right. I'm sold. Yeah, yeah. sold. It's, great. <laughs> yeah. So, it's great. It's all great. All about Friday, baby. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know what to think of it, and so now that I have a better idea, I was like, oh, I'm so in. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've, had like a couple, I've had a couple people I wanted to ask you guys, but uh, uh, to bring it back, is Ren, is Ren Slayer dead? Mm. We don't know. There's we're, there's talk that she might be Kang, like are taking over the the part of Kang. So there's that. You know what? <laughs> Marvel needs love, it. Marvel needs it. What's with the right love now? triangle between them and Victor? 
Victor Miss Minutes and, and Renslayer, man. Like, Ooh. he's trying she to put get her away face from on a damn mannequin. Okay. The worst <laughs> trouble imaginable. Yeah. I, it was just kind of funny seeing Miss Minutes get like, like she was like all about him and Did you then see... being really creepy. And then it was like, you didn't give me a body. Brah! Did you see her new face <laughs> at the end? What? You see her new face at the end? She she's like a square? Term- no, she has like the missing eye Terminator face. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. she was like, yeah, she was shutting down. She was shutting down, yeah. 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 That was creepy as all hell. Also, uh, next Friday is Invincible Season 2. So, I kind of, I love that part oh, where boy. he was talking about rebooting the system. Yeah. And he was like, oh, but it'll turn off all the safety protocols. Like, people can't use magic. And both, like, Sylvie and Loki were like, just turn it up and turn it yeah, off. Just turn it off. Ooh, like, come on, dude. Ooh, that's, that, that's actually Woodsy. really good. That's actually Goo-goo, really Mabara, good. For, for Admiral Ray Sloan, make it happen, Disney. Uh, Woodsy wins best comment of the night. I know that it's an opinion. Who but that? this opinion is correct. So Admiral Ray Sloan, during the time um, after the fall of the Empire, like immediately post-fall of the Empire, um, there is an Admiral in the Empire who hangs around and, um, without saying too much, is a big puppet master in Mm. the post-fall of the Empire, pre-First Order shenanigans. And her name's Ray Sloan. And I'm not going to lie, she kicks ass. So, yeah, uh-huh. she's awesome. She's she's awesome. awesome. Aftermath series, right? Correct, in the aftermath series. Yeah, correct. that's what I thought. Okay, yeah, yeah. Chuck yeah. Wendy. She's awesome. Uh, the like aftermath uh, trilogy is one of the best, um, like book series post you know Disney buyout. Uh, it was one of the first yeah. things that we got actually, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, a plus, a plus. Mm. Snap Wexley, all that good stuff. That's what um, what a name. What's that? Snap Wexley. Right? It's, it's, <laughs> a, it's, a, it's like total yeah, Star Wars, though, done. dude. That is a Star Wars ass name if I've ever it heard it. The most up. Star Wars ass name ever. Um mm-hmm. you guys wanna you guys wanna do a little Loki trivia? Let's do sure. it. <laughs> Let's do it. Claire? Claire? I'm here for it. Claire. Will I do well? Claire? Huh? Uh, I hope I do well. Let's go. Um, all right. So how do how are we gonna? Are we, I don't even have buzzers? a. I don't have a structure. Should we go one by one? One of you guys each go. Sure. Or I just did. No an, uh, I just no recorded buzzers? epic confrontations, and none of you should go watch it. But uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Go watch it. Go like subscribe. Uh, I have my whiteboard ready. What, what is Re- Renee Zellweger? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not an answer for Loki mm-hmm. season two. <laughs> the, the answer um, is Patrick Mahomes. What are you? I just pulled about? up something <laughs> with questions and answers. That's and fair. Just, you know. Let's do it. <laughs> I Looks, would hope uh, it had answers. Like, actually, we don't know. Moving on. I didn't make this myself. <laughs> some of them are really easy, and some of them, I don't know. Maybe they're hard. I I'm might. Sure. I might not get any of them right because I suck Let's at trivia. Let's go. Let's start easy, really quick. Um, and I will choose the person. So question one, what is Loki the god of? And multiple choice here. Mark, uh, chaos, love, mischief, or mayhem? Mischief. That is right. Easiest question mischief. in the world. <laughs> mischief. <laughs> What's All right. Two? I'm not giving this one to Mark. I mean, uh, Mike, because I know he'll get it. Uh, where was Loki born, Claire? Vanaheim, Asgard, Midgard, or Jotunheim? In Marvel? <laughs> Very good. It's still the same answer. It is the is same, it, answer. Is it the same <laughs> answer. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> It is the same. Answer. I actually don't know if I'm if I'm right if I know it from either of the franchises I enjoy because I suck at trivia. Um, Do you want to hear your choices? Was again? he was it Midgard? Was he born in Midgard? Jotunheim. That was Jotunheim. It was Jotunheim. I got it. He's a yeah. frost giant. He's a frost giant, but I thought if it lit, I got mixed up with the whole Kratos of it all, and they're <laughs> hanging in Midgard. And you were like, which one? I was like, yeah. 
Fuck yeah. Thank you. I wanted to pretend I was born. smarter than I was on this question. Actually, which Loki? <laughs> 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 His name's Atreus around these parts. Oh, I didn't even. Think. Well, I, I guess. Yeah, that's right. Actually, I didn't even think yeah. about God of War. That's exactly yeah. where my brain went. But I was like, I was like, there. way to go, deep ah! cut. Yeah. Deep cut. All right, all right. Here we go, Michael. Hi. <sighs> Which <laughs> actor currently plays Loki in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? <laughs> Tom Hiddleston. Move on. <laughs> oh, wait, that what was a real wait, tough one. What were the multiple choice questions? I want to hear it. No, no, no. That was <laughs> Matthew Lillard. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, want to see Fred the Matthew Durst. Lillard cut. <laughs> Fred Durst. Tom Hiddleston. <laughs> All right. Here's um. Here we go. Here we go, Michael. Or Rupert Grant. Who is Loki's biological father? Uh, this is my, me still? Yes, Michael. Could I have multiple choice, please? Tyr, Odin, Laffy, or Boar? Laffy. Way to go, buddy. Yeah, man, he's a giant. You got it, buddy. That's right. Thanks, everybody. That's right. All right. Okay. Everyone's got one so far. It's Yay, it's just... points! <laughs> Which Infinity Stone powered Loki's scepter? Mark, Mind Stone, Power Stone, Soul Stone, or Reality Stone? I'm going to go with the Reality Stone. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> the Mind <That> Stone. <laughs> Wait. Oh, shit. I should have given it to stone. somebody else. I got to give it to other people. I see. This is how bad I am at this stuff. All right. But it was I haven't the watched. Stone. I haven't rewatched any Marvel movies since Endgame came out. I, I know they all while because I'm yeah. a nerd. If the, the next one, if anybody gets it wrong, then I'll toss it to the next person. But okay, here we go. Here we go. Five and six for Claire. For me? As children, what did Loki disguise himself as before stabbing his brother? Uh, spider, bat, snake, or scorpion? <laughs> <laughs> I see. Roke just went. Don't, don't chat, and you can't give the answers. Damn it! Hey, chat, you could give the answers. No, I don't remember this. Uh, uh, I will before I will cover the chat over here. Spider, and bat, snake, or scorpion? I will incorrectly guess scorpion. I don't remember this. Michael? Snake? What, ah, wait, what Marvel movie was this? What, excuse me, sir. What Marvel movie? I don't remember. What, what Marvel movie was this, sir? No, I was genuinely asking. I don't remember. I don't know. I don't know. It's probably like the it's Dark the World. The one that I'm doing. Forgot. It's probably mm. Dark World. The one that I saw in theaters and... Nope, yeah, one more time. Oh, wow. We went Infinity War. Wow. Lauren. Lauren Roma. So she's trying to get around the rules. I need to not do trivia. That's Thor told trivia. the story. But it's fun. I like to be wrong. He did. <laughs> All right. Um, I have two points. Thank you. I certainly do not. <laughs> so, which Marvel Cinematic Universe film did Loki first appear in? Iron Man, Thor, in The Incredible Hulk, or Captain America? Who's 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 Whose question is this, Dad? It's yours, Michael. Sorry. It is? Oh, I just answered yeah. two. Well, yeah, oh. because you uh, got, your, it's oh. like you got your, yours now. Can, you, can I hear the multiple choice questions again, please? So which Marvel Cinematic Universe film did Loki first appear in? Is it Iron Man? Is it Thor? Is it The Incredible Hulk? Or is it Captain America? Uh, it's Captain America. Uh, uh, it's Thor. Whoop, it is Captain bro. America. No. Doop, doop, doop. No, Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> The name of the title is Captain America the First Avenger. You will call it as such because it's a gem of a film. But it, it is 100 percent right. Thor. I mean, he's not an Iron Man or Incredible Hulk had Ed Norton, guys. Come on, this is easy. Come on. That was right, Michael. Okay. You're right. Oh, damn. Three this points. One. I wish I would have given you this one. All right. But this one's for Mark. Okay. Fair enough. What is Loki's personal talent? Is it painting, comedy, dancing, or singing? Mm. 
Mm, I'm going to go with painting. Claire? Comedy. Michael? He's, 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 <laughs> he's, he's, he's a dancer. He's a dancer? That's all wrong. We're all wrong. He's, he's, he's a singer? singer? <laughs> Loki the singer? Okay. He's a singer, man. I did not know that. I just picked Loki one. Loki the lounge I didn't. So singer. Sh- we should get a either. musical episode then. Is what you're saying. <gasps> Tom Hiddleston has pipes. Hopefully. So. Can you imagine? Does he? Does he have Can pipes? Oh. I, I would sure love to see a musical either. episode. Let's see him. Um, okay. So this one goes to Claire. I love how we had four options and none of us none got None of us got it, yeah. <laughs> Those odds are awful. All right. Let's continue these bad odds. Let's go. I love trivia. Okay, here we go, Claire. According to the comics. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. What was revealed as Loki's weakness? Is it heat, water, metal, or radiation? Oh my God! It's hit my elbow. So I'm hard. going to guess. I'm going to guess because it seems too obvious. I'm going to guess metal. Michael, really? He... Stop looking on your phone. Nope. I'm answering a text message. <laughs> That's it. Mark. Did somebody, where you say heat? I said yeah. heat. Yeah. It's okay, radiation wanna... and water are your options. All right, let's go with water. Yeah! <laughs> you motherfucker! How so in the fun. world has Loki not had a battle in the rain? Right. Comics. 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 Comics are weird. Comics. <laughs> yep, that's it. That's why they start over every year. Comics. start over every year. Awesome. It is very year. true. It's, it's like, awesome. yeah. Year. I love it. I love it. Why? All right, so the book is canceled. <laughs> Okay, um, this one is for Michael. Hi, I am Michael. In the Marvel man. comic universe. Oh man, I saw those. Oh, boy, what is the name are. of Loki's daughter? Is it Freya, Abigail, Sif, or Hela? Hela. Woo! Good That's, job, Michael. It's also his daughter. I was going to do that a lot louder. Wait, Let's so see. it's She's Hela as guardian. Wait, so it's Hella Hella awesome. in the comics, and then Hella is their si- their half sister in the movies. Yeah, so in the actual Norse that? mythology, it's Hell, yeah. not Hella. It's H E L, and she mm-hmm. runs Niflheim. And she also has a two face. She's like mm. she was born beautiful on one side and born horribly scarred on the other side. Mm-hmm. And Garm, the giant dog, is her bodyguard. Ooh, pineapple pizza! I, I like it. Know. Moving on. I yeah. also like pineapple pizza. Yeah, they, Fight me. Yeah. Comment section. All right. Oh. Put some ham on there. It's a good character. Um... <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I just saw that too. <laughs> All right. So who's <laughs> <laughs> Michael? It, it's yes. Mark's turn. Okay. Here okay. We go. Well, Mark just got it right. I just got it right. No. Oh, yeah, you got Hella. So now it's Mark. I'm sorry. He got the, the hell, water dude? one right. What the hell, dude? What the hell, dude? <laughs> Question 11. Weird. Where does Clever. Where does Loki end up after Avengers Endgame? Is it Egypt, Mongolia, India, or Malaysia? What are the choices again? Egypt, Mongolia, India, or Malaysia? Malaysia. <laughs> I'm right with Mongolia. Fuck yeah, Mark. Fuck yeah. <laughs> You're catching, I think I've never Mike's seen a host so happy that his contestants are getting answers correctly. I yeah, am. man. <laughs> I'm All right. really happy you got that question, Mark. <laughs> I'm not that <laughs> Kahakistan. Claire, participate. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ooh, here's one. Claire. I have a gift for answering incorrectly. Go ahead. Nova Scotia. It's not one of the answers. As of 2021, <laughs> how many films has Loki appeared in? Oh, me or Claire? that's a that's a difficult question. Okay, hold on. Is it five, six, seven, or eight? Five. 
Hold on. It specifically says films. Films. I know. I think I know. You said what were the numbers? Five, six, seven, or eight. I think it's five. <sighs> I thought it was. Five. Is that your final answer, Claire? No, I think it's six. <laughs> <laughs> Michael. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's five. <laughs> it's, Is it five? It says it's seven. Oh, oh, I must have missed it. List them. What I think. List them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Thank you. Hey, when Roker, when Roker like show I, proof. God damn it! Okay, when Roker and I have the same answer, I think I'm right. <laughs> I don't you. have the answer. I just have the number. It doesn't tell me the list. Lies. Show the receipts. I'm telling you. I'm telling Somebody you. Somebody right in now. the chat, list them. I'm going this to is what it says. I call bullshit on this trivia. <laughs> this is what it says right I'm here. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It says seven. That's all I, I know. All right. I don't I, even know. I don't know either. Thank I you, did. BuzzFeed. All, all right. right. Google. Bing. Michael. Yes, sir. I am um, Michael. I, I should have given you that, Mark. I'm sorry. I took it. Uh, you know what? It's your question now. <laughs> okay. I'm skipping over you, Mike. Thank you. Here we go. I like that. <laughs> when did the first episode of Loki series? When did, when did the first episode of the Loki series debut on Disney Plus? Good luck, pal. Mm. <laughs> Was it May second, twenty twenty one? May 9th, twenty twenty one? June second, twenty twenty one? June 9th, twenty twenty one? June second, twenty twenty one. So close, Claire. I was trying to figure out what movies he was in. Uh, can you repeat the question? <laughs> <laughs> You're still stuck. I'm stubborn. This is I need a very know. high hill I'm standing on. Mark is still. Well, I don't know. You guys are neck and neck. You just got the last question wrong. So also Lauren Thor or not Thor. Um Loki was an end game for like 30 seconds because we had the flashback to the oh. Avengers movie where we go back. But um, I don't was he in all three Thor movies? I don't think he was. I don't know. I'm sorry. Dan, your real question. Because it does it include end credits. Yeah, that's just that's the thing I was thinking question. about the two. Oh yeah, it that's does. complicated. Then, mm -hmm. then, then, then there's quantum, mm -hmm. quantum. If there's end credits involved, I'm then he's been in it. I'm so sorry. Um, it's still a part of the movie. Yeah. It definitely mm -hmm. is there, Michael. Uh, here we go. Claire has to, yeah. So Claire has to guess when the first season series debuted. Was it May 2nd, 2021, May 9th, 2021, or June 9th, 2021? Mark <clears throat> already guessed June 2nd. For Loki. That is the subject of the trivia we're talking about. Oh, yep, that is. is. Um, was it? Was it? Was it May? That feels early, but May? Michael? God damn it. It was, it was June 9th. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. You there know why it was June 9th? Because Dan's a really bad host and said Mark was almost close. And I was like, oh, it's June 9th. That's then. what I thought. I thought it's, like, it's going <laughs> to well, be. Well, damn it. I should have yeah. paid attention because I thought figure the other out one, what goddamn movie he was old. in. I noticed I, I did that. And I was just like, well, yeah. you know what? There's there there only two other thought. options I would have went with. And that would have been May 9th or June 9th, just because one is after May the 4th, right? And they wouldn't put it during Star Wars week. And yeah. So. Well, all right, right. it is all three Thor movies. You're correct. Yeah, it is. Oh, by the way, it's all three Thor movies, um, and then Avengers and uh, Infinity War Infinity. and Endgame. But then it lists Loki season one as one of them in this list that I got. That's so that really would be a seven. Good. So I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, there must be a cutscene or something in there. Yeah. Anyway. I am owed a okay, point. Michael. Yes. Sir. Is it your turn? Is it your I turn? Don't... Your turn. Thanks. So. Uh. Yeah. It's my yes. turn. No. No. It's Claire's turn. Okay. You're yeah. the host, Good man. Lord. It's your turn, Heather. 
It's Claire's <laughs> turn because I don't know either. Yeah. I'm just along for the ride. Well, because the question was to Mark first, so yeah. now Claire, here we go. Yes. What does TVA stand for, Claire? Is it Time Variance Authority, Time Velocity Authority, <laughs> Transporting Velocity Authority, or Transverse Variance Authority? Believe it or not, I will go with answer A, Daniel. It, time Variance, variance authority. authority. That's what I will do. You are correct, Claire. God damn it, I got one! Yeah, no shit. <laughs> That's a good one. Good job, I'm Claire. the best Sometimes, trivia player to ever a lot live. In the world. In the world, you are the great test. Them up. Okay, you, you didn't land on bankrupt. Never, actually, most you of the time. You bought all the vows. <laughs> uh, I'm not giving you this one's way too easy. No one gets this one. Ooh, me? No, give it to me. No, no. I just solved the puzzle. <laughs> okay, here we go. This final Jeopardy. In the first season of Loki, let's make a deal. Who did Sylvie kidnap? Was it B15, B20, C15, or C20? Is this my question? Yeah, Michael. It's B15. Mark? Oh, what? B15. I said what you said, B15. Did you say C or B? B. B. And what'd you say, Michael? I said B15. And you said both said B15. Yes. Claire? Wait, they're both wrong? Yeah. <laughs> Pick up the way you, she got stuck. <laughs> can you repeat the, the other options? You are supposed to be right. Why are the other wrong? options are B20, C15, and oh, C20. Now. Those are all vitamins, okay? <laughs> C15. No, I'm not right. I don't know. It is C20. God ah, damn it. That's not a real person. <laughs> Go ahead. All righty. You just put letters and numbers together. You liar. <laughs> that's what that is that's how i feel <laughs> watching this season it's just everybody's a series of numbers and letters and i don't know any of them well i know x because it's dead and x is going to give it to you going always it's going to give it to you it's going to um, now that gives it to us pretty hard here we go mike no no this one is for you don't know who not me mark <laughs> okay <laughs> Prince in the like comic, Loki turns himself into a woman mm -hmm. and pretends to be which hero's girlfriend? Thor, Wolverine, Spider-Man, or Iron Man? I'm going to go with Iron Man. Claire? Oh, damn it. Wolverine. Michael? Spider-Man. <laughs> it's Thor. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's twisted. You couldn't oh. see your, a brother doing that to his brother. Yeah, I I can't, can't, that's can't that's that I'm going to be honest with head, you. Because right? I thought, if it isn't, <laughs> if it isn't <laughs> Pepper, if it isn't Pepper, then it's Mary Jane. You know, <laughs> you know, I Jane. There was something too <laughs> incesty about that to me that I didn't yeah, want to go like, there. I, don't say I was like, name. okay, okay, Mark, turn the porn house off take this your head. <laughs> it depends on how far he was going to take it. That's all. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, it is the ultimate prank and story. Question it is. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> yeah. Very funny. Where? Oh, boy. In the Disney Plus series, where was Mobius investigating when he first heard of Loki? Normandy, um, uh, El de France, Burgundy, or what is that? AXN? Uh, <laughs> you didn't know how to pronounce the last one, and she's like, um, I don't know what the last one it says. Z is uh, a, what? Zion? <laughs> Wait, can you repeat that? No, he can't. I can't. <laughs> That's, it's impossible That's a, for me to he do. He certainly cannot, Claire. <laughs> I believe on the last word. it is spelled A-I-X dash E-N. Axion? Axion. Is how that says it. Has, has, I believe. So, I believe. It, has a, it doesn't. It's A-I-X 
dash e n. I don't know how that's pronounced. Axian. Fanat phonetically is not coming into my head. Axiom? Question mark. I'm Ron Burke. That's it. Is that what you're guessing? The weird one. <laughs> yes. You're right. Thank you. Okay, I was in a desert, oh. and none of those other places sounded deserty. That was good. That was good. It was good. Well, I don't Axiom know. Province, oh, yeah, city France. Axiom Province city. City. Oh. Thanks, well educated people. Thank you. We I'm so you to thankful the for the chat every week for many reasons. Never been there. <laughs> Would you like to phone a friend? Um, I'd like to phone a friend, aka the entire chat. Yeah. Well, well Wikipedia, please. Let's do. Let me do one more to end the show all right let's go for it this one was fun here we go this has been fun even though i don't know shit it has been fun yes mm -hmm. i do know poop it, is, it has been fun <laughs> i know these waters here we go i'll use you pidgeotto how many kids does loki have like in Marvel? norse mythology or in like in, in MCU, Loki. It just, it just says, how many kids does Loki have? It must be. What are the multiple choice questions? Four, three, two, and one. Damn, I was going to say 69. Three. <laughs> oh, Mark? Clever, I know. I thought he had three. Nah, I'm going to go with two. Claire? Claire? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Uh, he has a bunch of kids. No, it was four. Yeah, it's four. Yeah, it's it's. It was hell four. Forty-two is the answer to everything, but not the answer to this. It's mm. hell, Fenrir. Uh, fuck. Who's one more? Well, oh, who originally I, created it, the TVA? Oh, is it my turn? Mark. Fine. You got the. You get. It was his, it was his question. It was Victor Timely and Ouroboro. What? What else do they call him? Oh, um, b uh, b uh, b uh, b b. Uh. <laughs> okay. Who do they call who? <laughs> Which one? Which oh, one? Dan? Dan and Ob. <laughs> He, who are you, man? You're He was correct. Dude. He was yeah. correct. Yes. yes. So our show All got right. canceled because Dan that gave out the fun. answers live on air. He's like, <laughs> he, who are you, man? And people in the back are like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Producers are throwing their shoes at Dan. This, is, this was a first time, first time run. And OB. I'm not good at being the host. Maybe I'll make someone else do it. Oh, I'll be the host. Now. We'll see. Maybe Michael. Yeah. It's been I'll, fun, wear, I'll wear a bow tie. But I, I did have fun. Even when I don't I know too. any answers. I have a I Bob have Barker fun. pencil mic. It'll good... be great. Um, so just that don't was keep good. score, and then I'll have fun. <laughs> Let's end the show. Let everybody know where they could find you, uh, Michael. No. Okay. <laughs> no, you can find me wow. here every Sunday. 9 p.m. EST for shooting the poodoo. And you can find me uh, Wednesday nights, 9 p.m. EST for BX. Watch your step. Look at the caution tape. That is a floor dash underscore gaming where Dan will be putting on his best shark suit to be the greatest stealth player that's ever walked the apocalypse. And so he has to run around screaming again. Until then, yeah, yeah. Dan upgraded like all of his guns. It was like it was like ten minutes of Dan over. Like, he had so much parts for upgrading his guns. It was it was like it was awesome. Because I look every nook and cranny for every shit. Cranny As you fucking drives should. Mike crouched. crouched. That doesn't drive me crazy. It's just when you're like when everybody else is walking around, you're just like crouching as <laughs> Joel. Bad back Joel over there. <laughs> Ellie's like running circles around him. Like, what are you doing? He's like, I do. I I'm do. in Pittsburgh. Bad. It's bad. 
Yeah, we just got uh, to Pittsburgh. So <laughs> Mark will be contacting Claire soon for winter. So you can find me on <laughs> uh, most of the social media platforms. Um under the name I am El Diablito and on Sunday evenings here with you fine folk. Nice. Claire. Uh you can find me on hiatus at the Imperial Senate Pub- Public. Is what I just said. The Imperial Senate Podcast. Uh, you can catch me on an upcoming episode of Epic Confrontations Trivia. You never know how it might go. You just watched how this was. So <laughs> you'll see I'll how it went. What's to come. <laughs> anyway, um, go check that out. By Republic is supreme. I don't care what anybody says, especially Jerry, the cannon junkie. Um, and you can find me here um on shooting the voodoo sunday nights and at c stribs everywhere stribs yeah. um you can find me at the 42 everywhere uh on socials you can find me here sunday nights you can find me with michael playing the last of us wednesdays at nine as oh, well man. and um doing vader and d squad uh for our uh quick shots of bro axiom as well But until next time, we will see you guys next week. Have a great night, and may the fools be with you. Always. Always. Bye.